Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this tutorial we will walk through the basic to advanced uses of object mapper. It will help us to become the fluent in this essential Java to JSON convergent conversion tool as well as the from JSON to Java. So the main focus of this tutorial is to how we are going to convert Java object to JSON object and from the JSON object to Java object. So there are like multiple libraries are available for converting this from Java details to the JSON as well as the from JSON to Java. But here we are going to use the object mapper. This is the like main core API of the Jackson API. So we are going to use the object mapper and also I will show you that how we are going to use object mapper in Java for conversion with this Jackson API. So object mapper is a key class of Jackson API. This is basically used to convert Java object to JSON and vice versa. So before we are going to use into our application, we must initiate with the proper syntax like object mapper then object name equals to new object mapper. So before even before that also first of all we need to add the object mapper dependency into our Spring Boot project. If you are not aware of it like how we are going to create the Spring Boot project in my tutorial in my channel already few applications over there from there you guys can easily understand that how we are going to create the Spring Boot project. So I am not going to the creation of this project like how we are going to create the project we are directly focusing on this how we are going to use object mapper in our application and how we are going to write the logic for it for conversion so for that like i have already one application that is this one and here this is the pom.xml well basically we are going to add this object mapper object wrapper actually module or we can say that is the dependencies into our pom file over here so here we are going to use this object object wrapper okay object wrapper it's not coming object wrapper this dependency is basically we need to add over here okay this model wrapper basically is used it's not coming okay it's come just yeah this one model wrapper so this module actually this dependencies we need to add for over here this module actually we need to add into our form file okay so that we need to use the relative functionalities from this different types of class and all those things okay so now we can also see that actually dependencies is added into our class path we can see that model wrapper this one 2.4.2 right this is also added into our class bar now actually we are going to see that what kind of basic syntax of it is so let me create one package or class over here let's say object wrapper example okay and we can create another package over here like wrapper okay and we are moving this particular class over here okay so now like for that we are going to like create one main method over here okay now here we are going to use this object mapper so you can see this particular class is coming from this com dot first xml dot jackson dot data byte right so we need to use this one then after creation clock defining the here we need defining this object and then equals to new object mapper object mapper okay so in this way basically we can 
defining the object and then we need to it's actually one have, have one method like mapper dot write value as object write value as object w r i t e write value as object as history okay and here basically we need to pass the DTO like whatever DTO we need to create over here so that DTO we need to pass over here and what it will return it will return the string as a output a string let's say json string it will return the json as a string and this will return actually it throws one exception that is json processing exception means like while we are processing something then if it is like face any issues then it will return this exception so here as you can see we have created the instance of this object mapper and uh, it uses the write value as a string method to convert a java object to into a json string this is the like kind of basic uses of this object mapper in java but there are much more to learn about handling complex scenarios and advanced techniques so let's keep with this tutorial so get more details of it so now like for defining the all the things like let's uh, create one object over here let's say we are going to create one employee uh, class over here like DTO data transfer object okay employee and here we are going to like defining few properties like let's say private string name and then private int age okay so these two properties we can defining over here accordingly we can also defining the getter and setter of this uh, method so of this field so getter and then setter okay okay now basically we need to use this particular employee class over here like we need to create this object emp equals to new employee then here we are going to set set name equals to let's say john okay and then we are going to set emp dot set age okay let's say age is 30 so now basically over here as we have created already this mapper class so let create this employee object top of this one okay and now basically we need to pass this employee object over here so now it will basically convert this object means convert this d2 into the json string so over here once we print this value then it will like uh, we need to print this object like let's say json string over here and then we need to print this object plus json string okay now if we run this application then it will it will print the string into the console let me run this application as a java main so as you can see it's converted this dto into the json string and printed over here so this is kind of simple basic example over here that we can easily use and this particular method is basically converting that from dto to the json string and vice versa also we can do like we can also convert this uh, json to the employee object how we are going to do this one so for that this mapper actually map object mapper object having another uh, like method over here like read value so this will basically convert the json string to the object so this read value over here first the first parameter we need to pass this json string and the second object is do like in which details we need to convert so here it will be a employee dot class so it will basically convert this particular json string into the employee object so here we can create another object over here like uh, converted string equals to let's say this one like uh, employee one or you can see it's a converted string okay now here we can print this particular value like employee object employee object okay 
and here we need to print this one so here instead of this we can just we need to implement the two string method over here so that we can get the log for this so two string we need to add it over here now if we start this application run this application again so first it will convert the employee object into the json and second it will convert the json to the employee dto you can see this is the json conversion and this is the dto conversion so in this way like we can convert easily to from java object to the json using the object mapper and json to the java object so while object mapper basic uses is very straightforward you can see over here it's also powerful tool for handling more complex scenarios like here we are going to also explore some advanced technique like we can also use our custom serialization and also the deserialization process over here so here let's say we are going to use some kind of date right so for the date maybe we can use some different type of different type of serialization kind of uh, uh, like uh, let's say it's a buffed date okay so we need to use some kind of the different types of serialization for this one so for that here in this over here jackson serializer annotation is over here json serialize okay json serialize and it's taking one here we can pass like this uh, custom serializable class okay over here custom serialize custom serialize dot class okay so this custom serialization class we can provide over here so for this particular path so we need to create this class over here let us uh, create this one this uh, custom serializable okay so it will basically extend json serializer new class custom serializer and this particular class actually extends json serializer okay json serializer and here we need to provide the local date it will provide the local date okay now as we have extend this class so it should implement the the class unimplemented method okay this serialize method it's having this parameter local date this value that we are passing then json generator and the serializer so over here we need to based on this like using this object we can write the value over here like gen dot write object write object okay and here we need to write this value like value dot value dot to string we can write the value as a string over here okay so it will basically uh, like convert this whatever the input we are getting this local date like just part it that we are actually writing over here okay now we need to import this class over here this custom serializer okay so this is imported over here now like uh, so here as you can see this employee object we have used this json serialize now if we okay we need to set some data over here for this budget like emp dot set budget local date dot now okay so now let is let it run okay it's showing this invalid definition okay even also is uh, like uh, we are getting the data over here but it's still like it's showing some kind of the exception over here but it's still you can see the that date so just to avoid this exception we need to add one properties over here we need to add this particular module that module actually they are saying so here mapper dot register module okay and here what module we need to add java time module okay java time module this module is coming from this jaxr this uh, jsr 310 okay so this particular module basically we need to add over here just to avoid this exception let us run it again so that we can avoid this exception and we can get the proper output over here you can see that we can get the proper output now right means we can use the custom serializer over here 
now if we want to use the custom deserializer so for that json deserialize also over here this annotation is also over here so using this we can deserialize the things another things like that also you can use like there is a one field let's say uh, address okay private string address okay and it's a null field means we are not setting any value but if we run this one here let it run once so that you guys can understand that what I'm trying to trying to say over here you can see that address is null value so if we want to that whatever the JSON it will convert it we are going to not include this not include the null variable so in this case only whatever the not null value that only we need to consider for the JSON so for that we need to there is one properties that we can add over here that is called the JSON include at the rate JSON include okay this property over here we can say that what it will include JSON value equals to json include not empty not okay so here not empty we can say that include dot not empty okay so json only include which are the not empty so those fields only we need to add over there so so now if we run this application so now you can see the output it's actually exclude the null field the address one but in the employee it's actually printing because uh, it's over there so so as you see over here so after like uh, ignoring the null properties it's been removing that uh, nullable fields from this json string and only keeping the not nullable fields over here but in the employee object is as we are not considering anything for this one so that's why it's like keeping the address as null so in this way like we can handling multiple things using the object mapper over here these are the kind of basic things that how we are going to use this object mapper for converting from java dto to json as well as from json to the java dto so that's all actually all about this about the object mapper if you guys have anything please do let me know in the comment section thanks for watching this tutorial if you found it helpful please subscribe to the channel for more java tips and tricks happy coding see you in my next time bye bye